nausea, headache, vomiting, loss of appetite are all signs of pregnancy. But the first sign of every pregnancy is a missed period. Now, some women actually miss their period and then they have not tested positive for some time, you know. Some get to test positive like one week after their missed period. Why some get to test positive like two weeks or even three weeks after they have missed their period. So what do you think is the earliest sign of cryptic pregnancy? In this video, we are going to be looking at those signs and symptoms to look out for in cryptic pregnancy. And if this is something you would love to watch, kindly continue watching this video and watch it to the very end. Hit the subscribe button if you've not done that, kindly give the video a like as well and join the channel as well. There is a join button beside the subscribe button. Once you click that join button, you become a member of the channel and you will have access to exclusive offers. You're going to have direct contact with me and I will guide you through whatever journey you're going through health wise. So you might consider doing that right away. So we're going to go straight into looking at the earliest symptoms of cryptic pregnancy. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back everyone. So we already know what cryptic pregnancy is. It's a unique kind of pregnancy that happens in one out of every 475 pregnancies. This pregnancy is quite rare, but it does exist and they have been first-hand deliveries from it, despite that there are scam going on all around. So that is it. We're going to be looking at the earliest symptoms of cryptic pregnancy. Now, like I said in the introduction, for every pregnancy, the earliest symptom is missed period. But there are women who, during that early stage of their pregnancy, get a bleeding that is known as implantation bleeding now this bleeding is nothing like your regular period it is usually very light and then it is um the duration is also very short and most times it is not accompanied with severe cramp like a usual period will be accompanied with so that is something about implantation bleeding so this bleeding is not like your period at all so you can get implantation bleeding from around eight days after your ovulation some get it around the same time they're supposed to get their period while others can get it maybe a day or two after they have missed their period now this bleeding comes when the embryo the fertilized embryo is trying to attach to the womb so once it's trying to make room you know you get that bleeding and so it is nothing like your regular period and this bleeding happened once once it has happened it's not going to happen in the next month implantation has taken place the baby continues to grow and so the woman actually this is what is considered normal the implantation bleeding when you're pregnant but getting a period when you're pregnant is a no-no like once you get pregnant the period sees and that is like the first sign and then you're going to get a positive pregnancy test that is another um very important sign that you are pregnant the positive pregnancy test is very important and you need to understand that you should make sure you're using a very good pregnancy test strip um, a sensitive one an unexpired one and and you make sure you're doing the test properly because all those can affect the results you get there are people that get false positive there are people that get false negative and it can all depend on um, the way you're using the test strip, the quality of the test strip, the expiration date of the test strip, and also whether you're pregnant or not. So you need to put that into consideration. So once you get a positive pregnancy test, you get a missed period. It is the cardinal sign of pregnancy because you could get nausea, you could get, you know, headache, you could get breast tenderness. All of these can be premenstrual symptoms. They can be ovulation symptoms. And also you could get nausea or this headache when you have malaria or or other um, health conditions so the two cardinal symptoms of pregnancy is a missed period and a positive pregnancy test and then all other symptoms follow there are women that get symptoms like heartburn they get symptoms you know like constipation you know and then you get metallic taste in your mouth um, some get bitter taste in their mouth and all of these symptoms are unique to individuals Some go as far as getting nose bleeding. That's epistasis during their pregnancy. It all depends 
on the individual that is involved. And symptoms of pregnancy are unique to individuals and also unique to pregnancies, all right? That's to say, the symptom you got while you were pregnant for your first child might not be the same symptom you'll be getting when you're pregnant for your second child. And there are women that say they bleed throughout your pregnancies. Like this is a regular pregnancy, you you tested positive you know you're getting the regular baby bomb but you still get one or two bleeding during the month okay some get that and still go on to have a healthy pregnancy but in the actual sense bleeding in pregnancy is a red flag and if for any reason you're getting any kind of bleeding in your pregnancy kindly report to your healthcare provider now let's go to cryptic pregnancy what is the first sign of cryptic pregnancy now with cryptic pregnancy you don't miss your period right you are going to be getting a bleeding that seems like your period, but this bleeding is not your period. Now, the bleeding is usually lighter and sometimes the duration is not as much, but it is coming. And some persons might just feel like, oh, my period is not as it should be this month. So that is one thing that happens with cryptic pregnancy and you need to understand your body that is why i continue to emphasize that women should be in tune with your body understand how your circle works every month you monitor it if your circle was five days and all of a sudden it is shifting you know this month it is two days it's very light you have to use just one pad you need to check all right because with cryptic pregnancy at the early stage the period is nothing like your regular period it is going there, there's definitely going to be something that is not usual about that period because it is not a real period it is a pseudo period something that mimics it it's a kind of bleeding and normally bleeding is not um good in pregnancy but with cryptic pregnancy you know due to the position of the baby sometimes in the uterus and then all of the circumstances surrounding this pregnancy you tend to get that bleeding that is not a real period so you need to understand what your period looks like what symptoms you get around your period what the duration of, of your period is how heavy it is and all that once you know this you will be able to know when something is off with your period if you noticed that your period actually changed a bit or drastically in a particular month you can consider just um, monitoring it again for the next month to see if it is going to return to normal if it doesn't return to normal then you have to get comprehensive check done it could be that something else has happened maybe an infection or stress or hormonal, hormonal fluctuation or it could be cryptic pregnancy so you need to monitor this very very well so when it comes to the earliest signs of cryptic pregnancy it is difficult to tell what the sign really is because you get this bleeding but the bleeding is not as regular or as you know heavy as your usual period now some of the people that i know that have given birth um without knowing they were pregnant would say okay the period wasn't as it should be you know some miss their period for a month or two and for the fact that some of them are irregular like their their period is usually irregular they didn't really pay attention to the changes that was happening with their period but for you who have a very regular period like your period is very clock it's just you just know that it comes like this and it's, it has come the next month you said it's coming this day it comes and then all of a sudden there is a change something that you do not understand then you need to see a healthcare provider like i said you monitor it for the first month the second month report immediately now for pregnancy test um it's usually negative at the earliest stage of cryptic pregnancy pregnancy test is negative so definitely that cannot be an early sign of cryptic pregnancy because you would do it you do the serum you do the urine test and you're getting negative 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 so that cannot really give you what you want in cryptic pregnancy and then there are other symptoms that accompanies pregnancy that are also associated with cryptic pregnancy like the nausea like you know the loss of appetite the bloating the constipations and all that the only difference is the fact that you are not aware of this pregnancy you do not know that you're pregnant because maybe you're seeing that blood and also the pregnancy test is negative so with this you wouldn't really pay attention to these symptoms but 
every symptom that is gotten in a regular pregnancy is what you may be getting in cryptic pregnancy. The only difference is the fact that you are not aware of this pregnancy. And so you would just think that this symptom is a symptom of something else and you won't pay attention to it. And then that is how it just, it just slides. So the symptoms of pregnancy is the same in both cryptic pregnancy and irregular pregnancy. So there is no difference. The earliest symptoms are same for both pregnancy. All that you need to do as a woman is be in tune with your body, understand how, the, how your body functions, know when there is a change in your body. And once you have noticed that this change is not going away, then you need to see a doctor as quickly as possible. Get a comprehensive test done, an ultrasound is very important, and then a blood um, a PT is very important, and then other investigations that can help put you online and then help you understand exactly what is going on in your body because of course all the other symptoms that i've mentioned like the nausea the headache the bloating can be associated with your menstruation you know when your menstruation is coming you could get all of the symptoms and also it can be associated with other health conditions and so you need to understand exactly what is going on in your body so understand your ovulation understand your menstrual cycle and then also you know be in tune with your cycle know exactly how your flow is and what it looks like and for people that are regular with your period and all of a sudden you're skipping periods you know um this month you did not get your period next month you got and all that it's something you should actually um go to get checked to be sure that it is not pregnancy so that is it because i have seen um lots of women get diagnosed this is not cryptic pregnancy for real but they never knew they were pregnant for up to three months and only got diagnosed when they went for an ultrasound maybe because they are not expecting to get pregnant or because they're on family planning pills or because they just gave birth all of this are some of the things that make pregnancy go unnoticed in some women so yes this is it this are the earliest symptoms you can look out for in cryptic pregnancy so ensure you monitor your body and know exactly when there is an alteration in your system and always ensure that you follow your medical um, prescription follow your doctor's advice and do not allow anybody to tell you i can help you bring out your cryptic pregnancy or whatever always um, trust what you feel and report it to the appropriate places your healthcare provider all right, so thank you so much. If you've not liked at this point, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and you can check the description box for other videos relating to cryptic pregnancy and other reproductive health issues. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to drop your questions if you have one. Bye.